right, so today we're gonna to talk about the Pontiac G8 for a little bit. So if you ever installed a Ram Air cold air kit on your Pontiac G8, you may have noticed that the mass air meter is starting to get some weird signals now. Um, I'll show you what it looks like here. Open this up a little bit. So I've already taken mine off, but I've got a Vera Ram Ram Air. And basically the air gets sucked in through the kidney grills here up and into here and then pushes it straight through the mass air meter into the throttle body um, what happens is uh, all that air coming directly over the meter element there disrupts it and makes you have some weird drivability issues and like a surge kind of thing um, so i think when a tuner looks at something like the fuel trims or whatever start um getting kind of out of place or whatever I'm, I'm not a tuner when it comes to these cars i just kind of regurgitate what i hear so anyway um talking to rick crawford who does all my tuning on my pontiac for me he says i need to look into treadstone it's a company that makes this little honeycomb insert it looks like a wasp nest kind of um and this is what it looks like so typically your ls7 mass air meter is completely open like this on one end all the way through but with this uh treadstone honeycomb insert what it does is it takes all that incoming rushing air and it actually controls it meters it whatever kind of makes it uh, filter it in so it's a little more easier for the mass air meter to dissect the information if you will coming through so this is pretty easy i'll just uh, pop it out real quick so you can see it so it just it just basically slides in let me just be real easy i don't want to mess it up so anyway so here's how the meters normally are, just a straight through design like that. And um, this is it, just a little insert. The company's called Treadstone. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got the paperwork over here. I can show you on it. Uh, matter of fact, no paperwork was sent. This is just the box that uh, came in here. So um, there's the company. Uh, Treadstone Performance Engineering, I guess, in Miami, Florida. So if you get online and look for it, they have different sizes of these things. Uh, this is the four inch diameter one, which fits inside the LS7 mass air meter. So I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some silicone and go all around the perimeter here to keep it attached inside the meter. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna kind of place it inside the inlet. You can tell the inlet from the mass air meter, you see the, the hole right here. That's where the sensor gets its, um, air reading from if you look on this side it's solid so you know this is the front where the air comes in and we're going to actually just place this in here right on the edge until it's basically flush like so see how that is pretty much flush i'm going to come in here i'm actually going to take some silicone that i've got just some black silicone and i'm going to go in here and make a nice little bead around the inside just keep the the device in place um, I might even pop it out and put a little bit around the edge and slide it back in. Uh, I don't know, whatever is easier. But I'm gonna do that once it dries, I'll put it back in the car. This is gonna help clean up the air as it goes into the mass air meter. And now the computer uh, should be much more cleaner signal. The car shouldn't have any kind of drivability bucking or issues when it gets all the extra airflow. All right, so there you go. Just a little quick tip. Uh, if you have a Ram Air, cold air kit on your Pontiac G8 or Camaro or anything like that GM style um, Treadstone is the company that makes it it's just a little honeycomb insert here it'll clean up the mass air readings and give you back that stock like drivability that you have all right so a quick little update um, I decided that the silicone will probably be okay but since you're talking about what's sucking in in front of the motor um, we don't ever want to run the risk of this thing coming loose and getting sucked down into the motor by chance and causing bigger problems, getting stuck in the intake or anything like that. So uh, got some JB Weld here, mixed up a batch of it. Uh, once I got the silicone like I wanted to hear and kind of pushed it down and got it kind of, kind of neat, you know, kind of a little deep attention to detail. Then I went in here and I took my little, just a little small flat tip screwdriver and some JB Weld and actually went around on the inside of this, if you can see that, and made like an extra little barrier there just between the edge of it. So now it's basically got the JB Weld around the edge on the inside and I made sure it was lapped over real good. 
And then the outside, it's got a little bit of that black silicone there between the between the body itself and the housing and then on the outer edge. So between that drying up and being fully sealed and the JB weld on the inside here, making like a little dam there so it can't get through, uh, this thing is never coming out. So we're good to go. So now it should uh, smooth out the air entry into the engine. Once it dries, we'll put it back together. The next thing is on these uh, Ram air kits like this, it helps to cut out. There's a little piece of support there under the hood latch. If you cut that little area out, this has more surface air area to get more cold air uh, shoved into the motor. Um, the problem is just looking at it, it's not easy to do. You need like a Sawzall with a long blade. So unfortunately I don't have one of those. So I gotta see if I can borrow one and get in there with a blade and try to saw out some of that plastic and get it out of the way. So this um, housing for the cold air ram air system will fit that in there a little flusher. Uh, once it does, then we should be able to cram some more air into the engine, which should help with the mile per hour of the car going down the track. So stay tuned. This is uh, some of the G8 stuff. I don't do a lot of with it, but uh, it's coming soon. As soon as the air cools off, we're gonna take it back to the track and see if we can finally bust into the 1090s. All right, talk to you then.